This is a quick and easy guitar lesson on the solo from Stairway to Heaven. It's a pretty advanced solo, so if you're here watching this video, I'm assuming that you should be able to, for the most part, copy what I'm doing by watching if I play it slowly. I'll give very brief explanations of each part, but I'm mostly going to fly through this one so that we're not here for half an hour doing this guitar solo. You can pause and rewind and restart as many times as you want, though. Just before I start, though, uh, if you don't have a tab, I'm not including one in this video, but you can find them all over the internet for free. It's a very popular solo, so if you get one that's been upvoted a lot of times, it's probably going to be more or less correct and pretty close to what I'm doing. So let's get right into it. So here's the first riff. Now it's all in the pentatonic scale, except for the last note there, which kind of gets out of the scale, but I'll just do it slowly. Very simple, bend seven, get five up here, pull off eight to five, pull off seven to five, hit seven, back up, seven to five again, seven to five, and you end with your pinky on eight. So now I'm gonna do that a few times so you can see. I'm just going to speed it up for you. There it is. So next riff goes like this. So this time I'm bending fret 8 with my ring finger and I'm backing it up with two other fingers just to make it stronger using my free pinky. Play the next string 8th fret. Then I come over and use my other fingers to bend that guy up, play the same note um, without the bend, play five. With my third finger, I'm gonna grab eight on the B string, slide up to 10. I'm gonna grab eight over here, do a pull off from 10. Same thing on the next string. Grab 10 down here on the G string, and then finish by hammering on from eight to 10 on the B. So that was Here we go again. One more. And more high speed. Okay, now I'm going to do a couple riffs that are similar to the first one. Because that's a long one. So first of all, I'll probably break that down to two pieces. So first piece, you start the same way you started the, the uh, solo. Big bend on seven. Come down your pentatonic scale using pull-offs, but then back up, we're going to back up again, then slow down the pace, play open G. So that's the first one, here we go again, big bend. faster and then full speed continuing with the remainder of the riff This is um, similar to what we just did and similar to the first riff in the way that it ends on the eighth fret. So I'm coming down the pentatonic and pull offs. Now here you could actually just back up onto seven and do a pull off to five. Or 
or you can do a hammer on and a pull off there too. That's what I did in the example. Really quick hammer pull off on five and seven. Then you double up this one. You do that one twice. Then I land on eight. And then if I can get the timing a little faster, I can execute that hammer on pull off. You'll see how the hammer on is a little quicker there. Just like that. So then I put it together, those two riffs. Whoops. So I've done this a few ways before, um, but right now I'm doing it like this. I slide from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on my ring finger on the D string. And I actually make that sound almost like two notes. Followed by fifth fret and sixth fret on the next string. And then I'm gonna do some pull-offs from seven to five. Hit a seven and come back to five. Part one of that riff. One more. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna slide from about 12 on the D string to 14 on the same string using my ring finger again. And then I'm gonna hit 12 on G and I'm gonna come back to 14 on D. This time I go up to 14 and I'm gonna put my first finger, I'm gonna squish it in there to 13. So that's index finger goes in. So that's Okay. So so far this is all the stuff we have. get to this I think this is the easiest part so what I do now is I'm gonna now I've put my first finger on 13 and it puts me in a new position I'm gonna bend 15 on the B string and I'm gonna play it um, uh, I'm gonna play it just as is after so I'm gonna bend then I'm gonna play it as is 13 15 13 13 that's an easy riff one more I'm going to bend 15, huge bend on the highest string, and then play it as normal, and play 13. And then I'm going to do a bend on the 15 on, on the B again, so that's... Kind of forgot to play that riff first, so that's what it is. All right. So now let's get back into it. So I bend 15 on the B string, and then I'm gonna play it like this. That was 15, 13, 15, 13, 13. Big bend on 15 up here. Then I'm gonna play it as is. Come back to 13. Gonna bend 15 up on the B string, play it as is. Play 13 and middle finger finds 14 on G so let's do that again so
Okay, now here we're gonna get into this loop that happens many, many, many times. This part is fun and super easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play 13 on the B. I'm gonna bend 15 up and let it come back down. You wanna hear it come up and down. Pull off to 13. So that means when you do that bend, you wanna leave 13 on. Then play 14 on the G string with your middle finger. Rinse and repeat. So, again. So you do it many times. I think it's, I think it's 10. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, And then you culminate that on the highest string, big 15 bend. So I got. I lost count. I lost count there. Let's try it again. I think that was 10. It's a lot of times. I just follow the recording and when I'm playing with other people, I just do it until I feel that coming up. Okay, and then I'm gonna continue with this new riff. Now we're almost done the solo. So what I'm gonna do is, at this point, after my big bend, on the E string, I'm playing 12, 15, 12, get that tune there we go 12 15 12 next string 15 13 14 then I'm gonna continue with 13 15 13 14 13 15 now this is where I bend 15 and with my pinky finger I'm gonna grab the 15 on the highest string and then while I've still got that bend I'm gonna play it again, so I bring it back down, and pull off to 13, and then land on my middle finger on 14. So that last part, I bent up 15, I grab the higher 15, play the bent one again, bring it back down, pull off, and grab 14. just like that okay moving on we're almost done there's just really one more riff here so now you got to get way up there I might even have not even have enough frets for this so I got 15 17 19 I just have enough frets so what I'm doing here is I'm bending 19 on G So this one, I bend 19 on G. With my pinky, I grab 20. Hopefully you have more room up here than I do on B. Now, if you don't have a lot of room there, like I don't really have any place to put my thumb, depending on what kind of guitar you have, you can get your thumb around here. Get it on the side of the neck there. So I'm gonna try that now. Bend 19, pinky gets 20. Index gets, uh, this is 17 back to that 20. Gonna abandon all those notes. I'm gonna do a bend on 19 on the G. Up and down, you wanna hear it go up and down. And I'm gonna play 17, and I'm gonna play 19, and then 17, 19, 17, bend. So let's do this slowly. Well, let's get a better position there. This is easier on my other guitar that has 24 frets. But missing a string right now. And then we continue with the 14th fret on the G string. 
big bend. It's one and a half bend. Big bend. We're gonna play 14, 12, 14, and then slide to 14. That's. So two big bends on 14, and then land on 14 on its own. Play 12, 14, and then slide from 12 to 14. So I've got, oh, let's get in there. Huge bend on 10. Just before we get to the end there. So this one, you want to use your pinky to bend this guy. You're going to bend this 10th fret way up. It's a two note bend, or two bend. So you have to bend it all the way up to the 14th fret. Just like that. It has to match that note with your fourth finger. Come down and play 10 on its own. Play 9, 7, and move positions to play 5. And go 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7. So that's... Let's do it slow again. And this one's fun. Try to do this on this guitar. That's the last riff. It's super fun. Now, once again, this works better on a guitar that has more than exactly 20 frets. That's my last fret. But what I do is I bar 17 on two strings. And I'm going to be pulling off from 20, going. So I'm using two strings. I'm playing B20 or B17, 20 on E, and I pull off to 17 on E. And I just do that in a cycle. And then big bend on 20 at the end. <laughs> and once again, that you can carry that more on a guitar that's designed to be doing big bends up here like that but that is the last part of the solo thanks for watching my video on the solo good luck playing it I'll see you in another video another time